Grade 3 wote kwanza grade 3 kama uko nje ingia ndani. Grade 3 grade 4 wote ndani. Omba omba utafute uso wa Bwana. Aonae kwa siri atakujibu for help. 
Mahali ambapo umeshindwa, tunajipata tunaenda kwa Mungu. Mungu nisaidie. Hapa nimejaribu nimeshindwa. So pia unaweza jipata katika maombi ukiwa na hitaji la kutaka usaidizi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So tuko na sababu nyingi ya kuomba. Unaweza enda mbele za Bwana kwa sababu ya kubeba mahitaji ya mwenzako kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Wewe labda kuna wakati ambapo uko sawa lakini unaona mwenzako ako mahali amelemewa. So utajipata katika maombi kwa ajili ya mahitaji ya mwenzako. Labda wewe umeamka ukiwa mzima, alafu unajipata ama unaelezea fulani ni mgonjwa. So wakati unaenda mbele za Bwana unaambia Mungu Mungu, ninamkabidhi huyu ambaye ni mgonjwa mbele za Bwana. So there hapo mahali tunasema una intercede kwa niaba ya mwenzako una leta mahitaji yake yeye ni mgonjwa labda hawezi ya hata fungua kinywa chake aombe lakini wewe unasimama katika pengo kwa niaba yake so tuko na sababu nyingi ambazo zitasukuma kwenda mbele za Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe so we want to look at some of the reasons why we to pray in life lazima tutahitaji maombi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Prayer changes things. Maombi hubadilisha mambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When you pray, you are aligning your will with the God's will. Wakati unaomba, unaambia Mungu kwamba Mungu wacha mapenzi yako yatendeke. Unaambia Mungu Mungu, hii hali ambayo niko ndani mimi siwezi peke yangu. Kwa hivyo unaambia Mungu Mungu aweze kukubadilisha. And when you are doing that, things start to change in your life so prayer can change your circumstances prayer can change your relationship prayer can change your heart kuna hali ambayo unachukuta ndani ambayo ni ngumu lakini kwa sababu ya maombi hautasalia jinsi ulivyo bwana yesu asifiwe wacha tuone mfano katika biblia kwa sababu na biblia yako fungua first samuel first samuel chapter 1 and verse 10 first chamuel chapter 1 and verse 10 tunaambiwa and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the lord and wept in anguish praise god huyu tunamzungumzia ana kuna wakati ana alijikuta katika uchungu fulani na pale hakukaa tu pale na kuendelea kujihurumia tunaambiwa kwamba alichukua hatua ya kwenda kwenye maombi so hana hakukaa tu kwa sababu ya shida ambayo alikuwa nayo alijua kwamba kuna mahali ambapo anaweza pata msaada wake na tunaambiwa kwamba aliomba wacha tuone the same first Samuel chapter 1 Twende tuangalie mstari wa 20. Tunataka tuone wakati aliomba. Kuna kitu kilitendeka katika maisha yake ama alisalia jinsi alivyokuwa. Mstari wa 20 inasema so it came to pass in the process of time that Anna conceived and bore a son and called his name Samuel praise god Amen. so tunajua hadithi ya Hana sisi wote kulingana na biblia tunaambiwa Hana hakuwa ijaliwa kupata mtoto so circumstances ambayo alikuwa ndani haikuwa ya kufurahisha na hakukaa pale akatulia akasema kwa sababu mimi niko katika hali hii wacha nitulie hapana alienda kwenye maombi akaanza kuomba kila wakati alikuwa naomba unaposoma ya hadithi utapata kuna wakati wa, alikuwa anajikuta kanisani akiomba hata eli akamuuliza kwani saa hizi ni mapema umelewa akamwambia mimi sijalewa mimi nazungumza na Mungu wangu so yeye alikuwa na hitaji lenye alijua kwamba kama angeendea mwanadamu hangemsaidia so alijua mahali pa kuelekeza shida yake na mstari wa 20 tunaambiwa kwamba tuna, tunaona alipata ama alijibiwa. So maombi ambayo alikuwa naomba haikuenda bure. Mungu alimba
kadhalika na mtoto hilo ndio lilikuwa itaji lake so prayer changes circumstances ilibadilisha hali ya hana kutokuwa na mtoto mpaka Mungu akambariki na mtoto hata wewe asubuhi ya leo ama siku ya leo hali ambayo uko ndani usisalie pale na kusema hii ni hali yangu nimeishi nayo kwa siku nyingi hapana Mungu anaweza kubadilisha hiyo hali yako ikiwa utamwendea kwa maombi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama alibadilisha hali ya Hana na kambariki na mtoto hata wewe siku ya leo Mungu anaweza badilisha hali yako na ikawe hali ya baraka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha tuangalie pia ni mali wapi ambapo tunaona maombi yalifanya mabadiliko. Fungua kitabu cha John chapter 11 and verse 41. John chapter 11 and verse 41 John chapter 11 verse 41 inazungumzia kuhusu Yesu na Lazaro tunajua Lazaro kuna wakati alikufa lakini baadaye aliweza kufuka. So mstari wa arobaini na moja inatuambia then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Yesu pia alijua kwamba hii ni hali ambayo huenda hangeweza lakini pia alinua macho yake akaomba. Na wakati aliomba tunamwona Lazaro akifufuliwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So maombi ni kitu cha muhimu maombi ubadilisha ma, ma, ubadilisha maneno, ubadilisha hali yetu ya maisha. Wakati Yesu alinua macho yake akatazama juu, akaomba. Ndiposa unapoendelea pale chini tunaona Lazaro akifufuliwa. Wakati aliuliza hebu nionyeshe nini wapi ambapo mlimzika. Watu wakawa na hofu kwa sababu Lazaro alikuwa amekaa kaburini siku nne. Wakajua kwamba haiwezekani. Lakini Yesu alijua kwamba inawezekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So hali ambayo uko nayo haitasalia jinsi ilivyo. Ikiwa utachukua hatua ya imani na kwenda kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa maombi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So prayer changes our circumstances. Prayer can change our relationship. Wakati labda ume sana na mwenzako unapoendelea kwenda kwa maombi Mungu atabadilisha na ataweza kurekebisha ule uhusiano kwa sababu ni yeye ambaye anaweza mambo yote Bwana Yesu asifiwe Let us go to the second point prayer is a weapon Maombi ni silaha Bwana Yesu asifiwe Maombi ni silaha When you pray you are waging war against the enemy wakati wewe unachukua hatua ya kuomba sio kwamba naye adui wako amekaa pale anafurahia kuna jambo ambalo unatekeleza kwenye maisha yake kuna kitu ambacho kinatendeka wewe wakati unaanza kuomba hivyo ni vita ambavyo unaitisha na adui wako prayer can break strongholds praise god Prayer can break strongholds. Let us look at example in the book of Acts chapter 16 and verse 25 to 26. Matendo ya mitume mlango ni wa 16. Mlango wa 16 mstari wa 25 na 26 Nitasoma kitabu ni Acts chapter 16 and verse 25 and 26 But at mid at midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them Suddenly there was a great earthquake so that The foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were open and every, everyone's chain were loose. Praise God. Hapa tunaona Paulo na Silo wakiwa kwenye gereza. Pale 
gerezani milango imefungwa wafungwa pia nao wamefungwa mikono kama ni miguu walikuwa wamefungwa hawangeweza kujifungua basi tunaona kupitia kwa maombi ambayo hao wa jamaa wawili walikuwa wanafanya ilileta uhuru kwa those prisoners milango ya gereza yote iliweza kufunguliwa ni kupitia kwa maombi ambayo walikuwa nayo hawakukaa tu pale na kusema sisi tumefungwa wacha tukae hapa tutulie ndani ya jela walijua kwamba kuna uwezo katika maombi kupitia kwa maombi ambayo walikuwa wanaomba hata wale wengine ambao walikuwa wamefungwa pamoja nao waliweza kufunguliwa bwana asifiwe so weapon prayer is a weapon Maombi ni silaha. Ambia mwenzako maombi ni silaha. Prayer is a weapon. We also look at or we can see prayer protect us from harm. Prayer protect us from from harm. Example hiyo chenye tumesoma. Our prisoners wakati walikuwa pale wewe kama ushaifungwa unajua kila ambacho kiko kule. Unajua chara ambayo itakupata. Enda ni kifo na mengine mengi. Lakini wakati unaamua kuomba, prayer can protect you. Praise God. Amen. Let us be people of prayer kila wakati wacha tujiweke katika maombi hali ambazo tuko ndani zitabadilika ikiwa tutaomba na tuwe watu wa kuomba kwa imani. Praise God. Amen. This is a powerful weapon. We are told that prayer is a powerful weapon that can be used to win but the more praise God. Shetan asiweze kutuangaisha wacha tuombe Mungu kwamba atutia nguvu ili tuwe watu wa maombi. Wakati mwingine unajipata hauna hata hamu ya kuomba. Hauna nguvu za kuomba. So wakati ambapo uko na nafasi you pray hata kama hali haitabadilika ile wakati unaomba hali itabadilika ambia mwenzako hali itabadilika hali itabadilika maombi yanabadilisha mambo praise god Amen. praise god Amen. prayer gives us power praise god Amen. prayer gives us power when you pray you are tapping into the power of god wakati unaomba wewe unachukua nguvu za mungu ili zije ndani yako wakati unaomba hali ambayo uko nayo utapewa nguvu utapewa hekma na maombi pia yatatupa mwelekeo yes. praise god amen acha twende kwa isaiah chapter 38 isaiah chapter 38 Isaiah 38 and verse 2 The Bible says then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord Mstari wa tano, the same chapter 38 inasema Go and tell Hezekiah that says the Lord the God of David your father I have heard your prayer I have seen your tears surely I will add to your days 15 years praise God Hapa tunazungumzia Hezekiah ambaye alikuwa mgonjwa na sisi wote tushajikuta katika hali ya ugonjwa ni mahali ambapo hauna nguvu lakini tunaambiwa kwamba prayer can give you strength wakati Hezekia alikuwa mgonjwa mtumishi wa Mungu <coughs> akaja akamwambia kwamba wewe siku zako za kufa zimefika Isaiah alikuja akamwambia kwamba wewe tayari unaenda Ezekiel tunaambiwa hakuanza kupishana na Isaiah kumwambia mambo yenye angejitetea tunaambiwa kwamba aligeuka na akaangalia kwa ukuta na akaanza kuomba so kupitia kwa maombi ambayo aliomba 
mstari wa tano tunaambiwa kwamba akatumiwa tena kujumbe na mtumishi wa Mungu akamwambia kwamba nitakuongezea siku kwa miaka yako so hiyo ilikuwa baada ya yeye kuomba kama angeambiwa kwamba atakufa yanga sema sawa kwamba nikukufa wacha tu nikufe lakini alijua kwamba hata kama nimeambiwa nitakufa kuna nguvu katika maombi na ndio sababu aligeuka na akaanza kuomba wewe sijui leo uko katika hali gani hiyo hali ambayo uko nayo geuka kwa Mungu mlilie mwambie Mungu ninakuhitaji mkukumbushe chochote ambacho unafikiria umefanya Ezekia alitamka vile vitu ambavyo alikuwa amefanya na Mungu akaona machozi yake na Mungu akamjibu Mungu akarejesha nguvu kwenye mwili wake mtu akiwa mgonjwa huwa anakuwa mdhaifu hana nguvu hata wengine tunawashikilia ndio watembee lakini hapa tunaona Ezekia alipewa nguvu na akaanza kutembea tena aliomba hakubaki akilaumu watu hakubaki akijurumia alijua kwamba akigeuka na kuenda kwa Mungu kwa maombi Mungu ataweza mpa nguvu Bwana Yesu asifiwe maombi pia itakupa hekima when you are a person of prayer God will give you wisdom praise God na hii tunamuona katika kitabu cha First Kings chapter 3 mahali ambapo Solomon aliomba Mungu aweze kumpa hekima na ni kweli Mungu alimpa ile hekima na tunaiona wakati alikuwa aligetewa mapele yake ili aweze kuyatatua enda kwa First Kings chapter 3 ama uandike chini first king chapter 3 and verse 9 first kings chapter 3 and verse 9 the bible says Therefore give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may discern between good and evil for who is able to judge these great people of yours So hapo Solomon aliomba Mungu akampe hekima ili akaweze kupata kuelewa kufanya majukumu ambayo yalikuwa mbele yake na tunaona hiyo hekima iliweza peyanga bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe so ni wapi unapoteremka chini mstari wa 16 tunaona jizi hekima yake iliweza kusaidia wale wanawake wawili ambao walikuja kwake wakilalamika waki ama kuna wanawake wawili ambao wote walijaliwa kuzaa watoto na tukaambiwa kwamba mmoja kwa bahati mbaya alilalia mwana mtoto wake akafa so huyo ambaye alikuwa amebaki mzima tukaona jinsi kila mmoja anasema ndio mtoto wake. So wakati walienda kwa mf- kwa Solomon tunaona ukisoma kuteremka chini. Tunaambiwa kile ambacho kilitendeka. Kama hangekuwa na hekima hangeweza kutatua hiyo shida ambayo hao wanawake wawili walikuwa nayo. So wewe na mimi tunapouliza leo Mungu akatujalie hekima kuna hali ambayo tutajikuta ndani ambayo inahitaji tuweze kuwa na hiyo hekima na nikupitia kwa maombi Mungu hatakuja tu na achilie hekima yake juu yako ni wewe kuweza kuomba na Mungu atakutendea Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tunapoendelea kumaliza tunasema prayer gives us what we ask for Prayer gives us what we ask for wakati unauliza chochote kwa maombi Biblia inasema tutapewa Twende katika kitabu cha Matthew chapter 18 Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18 to 19 If two of you agree concerning something you ask pale mwisho tunaambiwa it will be done for you praise God ikiwa mtakubaliana nyinyi wawili na muweze kuomba kwa ajili ya jambo 
Hapa ni Mungu mwenyewe anasema kwamba mtatendewa. So hatutapewa tu ama tusiache kuomba kwa sababu Mungu anajua uko na hitaji. Enda kwa Mungu kwa maombi, uliza, wasilisha hitaji lako kwa Mungu na wakati unaomba, wakati mnakubaliana mweze kuomba kwa ajili ya jambo fulani, hakika Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu na Mungu wetu atatutendea. Praise God. Amen. When we look at John chapter 14 and verse 13. John chapter 14 and verse 13 to 14. Whatever you ask in my name, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. Chochote unachouliza kwa jina la Yesu. Anatuambia kwamba yeye atatufanyia. Tumboomba, omba kwa imani. Ukijua kwamba Mungu anaweza. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu na Mungu anajibu maombi. Maombi Zomba uchukue muda Lakini kitu cha maana ni kujua kwamba One time God will answer your prayer Praise God Amen. Praise God Amen. Mungu akona jinsi anabio jimu maombi yake Maombi yako Uneza kwa umeomba kwa mdamrefu Mpaka unangalia unasema Pana ni kama mungu hasuki Usikufe moyo endelea kuomba our God is faithful, our God is able Mungu wetu atakujibu Kwa wakati wake Uwenda wakati unaomba kama ni leo tunaomba Mungu anaona apana Hili jibu siya na kupeana sai Wacha ni wape muda Wacha ni mpe mwaka moja Badaya ni tapjibu So hatuwezi fifia tuseme kwamba Kwa sababu sijapata jibu lenye na itaji leo Ni yache kuomba Keep on praying God is faithful and our God is able na hacha tujibia maombi yote. Praise God. Amen. Ukisoma Luke chapter 18, pale mstari wa kwanza. Tunambiwa tuombe kila wakati. Pray always. Usichoke. Pray always. Kwa hivyo maombi iwe sehemu ya maisha yetu. Maombi ni kila siku, maombi ni kila wakati. Wana sifiwe. Tusichoke na maombi. Hata kama ujana kila ambacho ulikuwa naomba, endele kuomba. Mungu atakujibu. Praise God. In 1 Thessalonians in chapter, chapter 5, pale 16, 17, inatuambia, pray without ceasing. Mungu anataka tuombe bila kukoma. Usichoke kuomba. Maombi ya nanguvu. Maombi ya tabadilisha maneno. Maombi ya takutia nguvu. Kwa hivyo tusichoke kuomba, let us keep on praying. Praise God. In Mark chapter 11 verse 20, 24, the Bible says, whatever thing you ask when you pray, believe that you receive. Lo nota malo naomba, lazima tuwe na imani. Lazima tuwe na imani. Unapo amini kwamba mungu wa amba unaomba atafanya Akika mungu atakujibu. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Let us keep on praying. Wacha maombi iwe sehemu ya maisha yetu. Uneza omba peke yako. Uneza omba na mwenzako. Lakini tuombe. Let us keep on praying. Maombi enye unaomba haitaenda bure. Maombi enye unaomba lazima kuna siku ya tatekelezwa. Mungu atayajibu. Praise God. Tunapomaliza ukisoma Zaburi 56 and 56 mstari wa 8. Unapolia, Biblia inasema Mungu ametuwekea kila moja chupa yake. Na kila mtu na chupa yake machozi yetu ambayo tunamlilia kila wakati anayoweka pale. So wakati sasa amefika wakati anataka akujibu mau Anapoenda kwenye chupa yako anapata hakuna chochote pale. Wewe wakati uliomba mara moja na ukoona kwamba Mungu hakujibu na ukaachia pale. Let us keep on praying. Let us keep on praying. Praise God. Wacha tuendelee kumlilia Mwenyezi Mungu maana yeye akika kwa wakati wake. Unapoomba usiseme Mungu ni peleo kwa wakati wa Mungu. God's timing is the best. Praise God. Tusichoke kuomba. Niyo bilangu 
Tusichoke kuomba Pia mwenzako usichoke kuomba Mungu atatujibu kwa wakati wake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Uenda umeomba kwa muda mrefu Uenda umeomba kwa siku mbili Uenda umeomba kwa wiki moja Haujaona jibu lako Keep on praying Kwa wakati wa Mungu Mungu atatekeleza Bwana Yesu asifiwe Our God is able Najua bwana anaweza Najua bwana anaweza Hata kama imechukua muda Najua bwana anaweza Najua bwana Our God is able. Our God is able. He will answer you. He will answer you. Amen. Uh, that is when uh, David 
Tadiu kita tadi bagi tujuh. Ah, mana juga tiga seis. Ah, the days when David was worried. Nasiku Daudi alikuwa na wasiwasi. Things were not going the way he wanted. Mambo yako yanaenda jinsi alivyotaka. He was looking at the wicked people. Alikuwa anaangalia watu wa ovu. Ah, they were prospering. Walikuwa wanafanikiwa. They were getting everything they want. Walikuwa wanapata kila kitu wanataka. And David was asking why? Why me? Na Daudi akauliza mbona mbona mimi? But when he went into the presence of God. Wakati alienda katika uwepo wa Mungu. When he began praying. Wakati alianza kuomba. Then God opened his eyes and he saw their end. Basi Mungu akafungua macho yake na akaona hatima yao. He saw God has set them on a slippery ground. Basi kona Mungu amewekea mali hizi. Any time they be no more. Wakati wote hawatakuwa tena. And David was encouraged. Na Daudi akatiwa moyo. Hallelujah. Amen. In the days of Noah, hata zile siku za Noah, there was a lot of wickedness that was taking place on the face of the earth. Kulikuwa basi na uovu mwingi duniani. And only Noah was a just man. Na Noah tu ndiye alikuwa mtu mkamilifu. Everything else was as we going astray lakini yote yalikuwa basi kinyume people were not waiting for second god watu walikuwa wamemwacha mungu people had rejected god watu walikuwa wamemkataa mungu this nobody was honoring god akuko na mtu ambaye alikuwa anamtii and i don't know was wondering when did this things come to an end na basi no alikuwa anashangaa bona mambo haya mambo yatafika tamati and he was always in prayer na kila mara alikuwa katika maombi but you see in the book of genesis chapter 6 katika mwanzo sita Genesis chapter 6 and verse 13 Mwanzo 6:13 In that time God said to Noah The end of all flesh has come before me for the earth is filled with the violence through them and behold I will destroy them with the earth Basi Mungu akamwambia Noah mwisho wa kila mwenye mwili umekuja mbele zangu kwa sababu wameijaza dunia dhuluma basi nitaribu pamoja na dunia this no way god can speak to you in this in this way if you are not praying basi mungu aweza kukuongelesha hivi kama hakuna kinyo unaenda he was wondering alikuwa anashangaa why are they increasing so highly bona basi wako hivyo juu and i think in the book of uh, Isaiah 59 he says that when the enemies comes like a flood the lord will raise a standard for you basi ukisoma katika Isaya 59 inasema basi maadui akija kama mafuriko basi Mungu atainua kiwango kwako when wickedness increases god is going those who know the, their god are going to do more exploits basi wakati maovu yanaongezeka wala ambao wanamfahamu Mungu atafanya maajabu zaidi so don't be swept by the flood of that of wickedness that's taking place in this earth right now basi usifagilie mafuriko ambayo yanatendeka sasa And now God told Noah, basi Mungu akamwambia Noah, I want you to, go, to survive through this storm. Nataka basi wewe uweze kupita kwa mawimbi. Now go and make yourself. Basi nenda ukajieke salama. God is telling you today. Mungu anakuambia leo, I know the flood is coming. Najua mafuriko yanakuja. I've heard about El Nino coming. Nimesikia kuhusu El Nino inakuja. Then it's coming. Mvua inakuja. So you have to prepare yourself. Nataka ujiandae. God told Noah to make an ark for himself not for other people basi Mungu akamwambia Noah atengeneze safina kwa ajili yake sio kwa ajili ya watu wengine it's telling you today that you need to make your own ark anakuambia leo unapaswa kutengeneza safina yako don't go don't trust somebody's ark make your own ark that will be that is going to sustain you through the storm basi utengeneze safina yako ambayo itakuilinda wakati wa mawimbi this is make yourself an ark of gofa wood basi ujifanyie safina ya mti wa mvije amen this type of wood was very uh, uh, it was good to make the ark basi huu mti ulikuwa mzuri wa kutengeneza safina because it cannot rot kwa sababu hauwezi ukaoza it's a very it's a hard wood basi ni mti ambao ni so mgumu 
Wow. When the floods are coming into our lives, wakati mafuriko yanakuja kwa maisha yetu, God will give us instructions on how we are going to survive the storm. Mungu basi atatupatia mashari kijinsi tutakapoepuka yale ma- mawimbi. He was very specific by state by telling Noah to use go for wood. Basi alikuwa na msimamo ama alikuwa na dia wakati alisema atumbie muti wa mvini. Amen. Amen. Not another tree. Sio muti tu wa wood. This is specific tree. Ni muti tu mmoja. Don't mix it with any other wood. Usichanganye na miti nyingine. Use the, 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 this tree to make the uh, the ark. Tumia tu huko kutengeneza safina. And God has given us the word of God. Na Mungu basi ametupa neno lake. The word of God can take us anywhere. Basi neno la Mungu linaweza kupeleka popote. The word of God is so powerful. Neno la Mungu lina nguvu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And because God uh there was a lot of flood coming ahead God began hardening Noah. Na kwa sababu mafuriko yalikuwa yanakuja mengi Mungu akaanza kumfanya Musa kuwa imara. Now if you 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 planted your small on a, a seed bed. Kama basi umepanda sukuma yako. Is it seed bed or nursery? Nursery. Yeah. You planted your seeds in the nursery. Basi umepanda sukuma yako pale. How do you treat them? Basi utalinaje? You put some, some grass on top. Basi uneka nyasi juu. You know every time you pour water. Basi kila wakati unamwagilia maji. When they begin to grow, wakati basi maanza kukua and you see that it's like you're having a two weeks maybe to to plant. Basi ni kama uko na kama wiki mbili kuabisha. You begin removing the grass on top of the mulch. Basi unaanza kila nyasi juu. You reduce watering basi unapunguza kumwagilia maji why are you doing that kwa sababu gani unafanya hivyo so when this uh, plant is is moving this place to another place it can survive kwa sababu wakati utatoa huu mmea kutoka hapa kwa hadi kule kingine unaweza na wili si wewe unaweza kuna kitu kwani kacha mlai ha eh you can just take our seed a seed ni una una mwanga na ndoko you you have to put to hide it first before you, you take it there lazima basi ufanye kwa ima kabla uipeleke kule kingine and i was trying to also to study this bird which is called eagle nilikuwa basi najaribu kumwangalia huu ndege eagle tai tai some people are sleeping watu wanalala eagle tai eagle is a, a very energetic bird basi tai hapo na nguvu sana it stays very high inaenda juu kabisa ona hii kwa mlima ona very tall tree kwa mti ambao ni mrefu and the eagle is very strong na basi utai ako na nguvu the bible says that um, those who wait upon the lord bibili nasema wale ambao wanamngoja bwana they shall renew their strength basi nguvu zao zitafanywa upya they shall mount up with wings like eagles basi watapewa mabawa kama tai they will run but they will not faint watakimbia lakini hawatazimia amen amen those who wait upon the lord wale wa mgojao bwana they will run but they will not faint watakimbia lakini hawatazimia yes hallelujah amen now this eagle basi huyu tai is is the is the strongest bird basi ni ni ndege ambayo ana nguvu and is a bird that knows fight battles na anajua kupigana vita we have been given an example of of, of two animals that are very deadly basi tulikuwa tunapatiana hapa mfano wa nyama ambao wako na akili we have a snake tuko na nyoka so we get a snake akaka tuko na nyoka so na kitu hiyo sana eh kitu hiyo kama na kitu hiyo but now here it comes an eagle basi hapa kuna kuja tai this is how the eagle fights the snake basi hivi ndivyo yo tai anapiga anapigana na nyoka the eagle is always always flying on high basi kwa sababu tai anaenda juu and this snake lies like moving on the ground na huyu nyoka basi anatambaa pa chini what that, the eagle does it comes down and takes the snake in the air basi huyu tai anakuja anachukua nyoka na kupeleka ngani so the snake is the air the snake is helpless kwa sababu huko ndani hana usiti. You cannot win our battles down here on the ground. Hawezi basi kupigania vita hapa chini. Amen. Amen. Our warfare is mighty in God and the spiritual. Ni huko juu kwa sababu ni kiroho. Amen. Amen. Our warfare are spiritual. Vita yetu ni vya kiroho. We don't battle down here with people. Ni hapa chini na watu. We take them higher. Tunawapeleka juu zaidi. Let's not twice. 
Hata akijaribu but the, the ego will picture that he is in the air. Tai atahakikisha ameshinda kule angani. Because he's an expert of fighting in the air. Kwa sababu ana umaarufu kule angani. And if, even if you see a tortoise, hata ukimwona kobe, when the lion comes to eat a tortoise, a lion cannot eat a tortoise. Basi simba hizi akabula kobe. When a lion is hungry and it is it is something like a, a stone walking, basi simba atafuta chakula aone kitu kama mawe linatembea. He goes there quickly to eat. Anaenda pale kutaka kula. But the dog is hides inside. Basi kobe anajificha ndani. It was smell is some this meat here but I can't get it. Basi anajaribu kunusia kuna nyama hapa lakini hawezi akapata. Basi I think that unaona hivyo. But when an eagle comes, tai anakuja. He will take the tortoise. Anachukua kobe. Goes very high. Anapeleka juu. And then he looks where there is a rock. Anaangalia kwenye kuna mwamba. Then he listens at the tortoise. Alafu anachilia yule kobe. The, the, the tortoise will, will fall on the rock. Basi kobe atakuka kwenye jiwe. And he will split. Na anapasuka. And the eagle will eat. Basi tai atamula. Those who wait upon the Lord. Wale wa mgojao Bwana. Shall uh, renew their strength. Yeah. Ndio zao zitafanywa upya. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. Watapaa juu kama tai. Hallelujah. Yeah. And an eagle knows how to train its young ones. Basi tai anajua kuwafunza watoto wake. Uh, the eagle prepares a nice net. And that's net. Basi anatafuta kiota kizuri. He puts in some cotton wool. Basi anaeka pale kiraka. Cotton wool ipamba. Pamba. Then he, 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 uh, that uh, the eagle will put in some eggs. Na anaeka ndani mayai. Maybe there are two eggs. Ni mayai huenda mbili. Then on some times uh, those eggs will hatch. Baada muda wale yale mayai atatanguliwa. So the atagua. So the eagle will be bringing food to, to, to the young ones to eat. Basi atakuwa analeta chakula kwa wale watoto kula. For some time they are growing. Baada muda wamekua. And that nest is made of thorns. Na kile kiota basi kimetengenezwa kutumia miba. Are you getting me? Je, unanipata? It's made of thorns. Kimetengenezwa kutumia miba. So, corn is just put there so that the kids can enjoy. Basi pamba inaekwa tu pale ili wakaweze kufurahia. Now when the kids begin to mature, wakati watoto wanaanza kuwa wakubwa, this eagle will be giving moving some cotton one, one by one. Basi utai ataanza kutoa ile pamba pole pole. Not that he hates the, the, the young ones but Uh, she loves them. Sio kama anawachukia lakini anawapenda. So those stones will begin breaking. Bas, basi hawa miba ataanza kuwadunga. Those so will feel uncomfortable in the nest. Basi pale watakuwa wako sawa pale kiotani. And, and as she does this they are growing big. Na anafanya hivyo nao wanakuwa wakubwa. Now they hate staying in the nest. Na wanachukia kukaa pale kiotani. Now the mother will come and day. Mama anakuja siku moja. So can you go for for for, for, for a walk? Anaambia basi tunaweza enda kutembea. So this young one will climb on the back. Basi watapandia mgongoni and the eagle will fly. Na tai atapaa juu. We go high. Atenda juu. And the young one is enjoying on the back. Wa, na wanafurahia mgongoni. Then that eagle will turn back. Basi na utai atapinduka. Yet the young one will be uh, falling down. Basi wale watoto wataanza kuanguka. Mama umeniacha, mama umeniacha. Eh? So this young one will be But, but flat me like this. Watalia lakini wanajaribu kujitetea. Amen. Amen. And the mother is just watching. Na mama anaangalia. The young one is coming down. Wadogo wanakuja chini. But the mother is just watching. Mama anaangalia. And the, 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 the young one is doing like this is learning how to fly. Basi wakati yule mtoto anafanya hivyo anajifunza kupaa. Then the mother will come down again. Basi mama atakuja chini tena. And that young one will land on the back. Na basi watamwendea mgongoni tena. And the mother will come walk again. Basi mama tena atawapeleka juu. Going higher. Tena juu zaidi. Going higher. Juu zaidi. Wakati tena na mwaga hichi. Tena apinduke au mwaga hichi. That young one. So she begins that, that's how she's taught that young man is, is taught how to fly. Ivyo ndivyo anafunza kupaa. Then when they go back to the nest, that one will come back flying. Basi wakati watarudi katika kioto atarudi wakipaa. Amen. Then he takes another one again for for the walk. Anachukua mwingine tena na mwambie twende tutembee. Because this one now we don't tell that one is, is the secret. Basi huyu hata ambie yule mwingine siri. So this one he just say, "Oh, I'm going with mama." Ata 
Furahi inaenda kutembea na mama. Same process again. Hivyo hivyo pia. Until you learn how to fly. Paka vile atajifunza kupaa. That's how God treats us. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anatufunza. Amen. Amen. That's why everything in our life it won't be it, it won't just be smooth always. Sio kwamba ndio maana kila kitu kwa maisha itakuwa rahisi kila wakati. Any little pain in your life, uchungu tu mdogo kwa maisha is means that you are growing bigger. Inamaanisha basi unakuwa mkubwa. Amen. Amen. You are moving from one level to another. Unatoka katika kiwango kimoja hadi kingine. But if you are Christian who always just ah ah since you never been ah I've never been sick, I've been just there unasema wao nimekuwa msiji kutokea wapi sijai kwa mgonjwa unadanganya enemy basi uenda ni mpango wa shetani wa adui you are playing with the enemy unacheza na adui but if you are busy attacking the enemy lakini kama unamshambulia adui the enemy will feel like running away kuna wakati utaisi kukimbia but one thing you need to know kitu kimoja unapaswa kujua god is watching mungu anaangalia yes Hallelujah. Amen. God is watching. Mungu anaangalia. He told Noah make an ark. Aliambia Noah tengeneza safina. Then God went away. Na Mungu akaenda. So did you do your pull Noah to make the ark the way God had told him to do? Ili paswa basi Noah atengeneze safina jinsi Mungu alivyomwambia. He began making the ark. Na kaanza kutengeneza safina. All these times wakati wote it was not an easy job haikuwa kazi rahisi they didn't have power so hawakuwa na mashini ya kata they didn't have uh, these other other tools to use hawakuwa na hizi silaha zingine za kutumia he was using stones alikuwa anatumia mawe tukata tukata una tu kukata mti amen amen because there were no tools to do those days hakukuwa na jiombo ule wakati the old stone age mtu anasema wakati wa mawe stones were being used as tools basi mwa alitumika kama silaha so you cut a tree with stone unakata mti ukitumia jiwe you can make timber out of it basi unatoa mbao kutoka pale for over 75 years kwa miaka 75 it was not a, it was not a, it was not a joke haikuwa kazi rahisi but god was preparing for a preparation that was coming basi mungu alikuwa anamwandaa no kwa ajili ya kumhifadhi because god said that the end of flesh has come kwa sababu Mungu alisema mwisho wa mwili umefika. And when this to everybody. Naenda kuangamiza kila mtu. But you I'm going to save you. Lakini wewe naenda kukuhifadhi. This one God is telling you today. Yeah. Basi hivyo unasema yes. That the land is coming. Au mfuriko yanakuja. But those who will fear God. Wale ambao wanamtimu. They are going to be preserved. Wanaenda kuhifadhiwa. We will not be destroyed. Hatangamizwa. Hallelujah. Amen. And no had finished building the ark. Hadi wakati Noah alimaliza kutengeneza safina. God told Noah now get into this ark. Basi Mungu akamwambia Noah ingia ndani with your children. Na watoto wako. Hallelujah. Amen. You have a place for your children also. Basi unapaswa kuwa na mahali pa watoto wako pia. God has to save your children from this perverse generation. Basi Mungu anataka wakuwa watoto kwa hii kizazi. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of wickedness is taking place in this earth. Kuna mambo mengi yanatendeka kwa hii dunia. But those who fear the Lord. Lakini wale ambao wanaogopa Mungu. We are going to we are going to we are going to be consumed. Watu wengi kuumezwa. And now the floods came. Basi mafuriko yakaja. God didn't take no out of this earth. Basi Mungu hakumtoa ndio kwa hii dunia. But he was here. Alikuwa hapa duniani. And now God begins to fulfill what what did promise to him. Na basi Mungu akaanza kutimiza yale ambayo alikuwa amemwambia. Because no was a just man. Kwa sababu no alikuwa mtu mkamilifu. He was a man who feared God. Alikuwa mtu ambaye alimtimu. He was a man who communed with God every day. Mtu ambaye alikuwa anaongea na Mungu kila wakati. Despite the weakness that he was having but he feared God. Nishe ya udhaifu wake alikuwa anamtimu Mungu. And now God didn't take him out of this earth. Basi Mungu akamtoa kwa hii dunia. But he kept him on this earth. Alimhifadhi kwa hii dunia. And the floods came kuliko ya kaja lot of water others coming from up others coming from the internet basi boy ile kuna kutoka juu ingine and those people did the fear god na wale ambao hawakutii they said ah uh, this little water we just have to stop and then we just go down with our life as usual wakasema ni maji madogo tu tendele na maisha kama kawaida they told it as usual wakadhani ni kama kawaida even they never seen rain hata hawakuwa iona mvua because rain was just coming was some water just coming from the ground Yes, uh, maybe this some so this soil where the water goes down again. Kulikuwa na maji tu ambayo ilikuwa inatoka chini tena na rudi. So this could never see the rain. Basi hivyo ndivyo ilikuwa. They never seen the rain come. Hawakuwa iona mvua. So they didn't believe. 
hawakuamini so what god is going to do unajua kile mungu anaenda kufanya is not what people are used to kila watu wamezoea is not what people are used to see sio kile watu wamezoea kuona people will be living in this kind of formula watu wanaweza kuwa natumia ama wanaamini bidu hii but if you tell them that god is going to bring this thing they, they can't believe ukiwaambia mungu atatumia bidu hii hawataamini so god is going to come with a new method mungu anakuja na bidu is coming with a new thing that people have never seen anakuja na kitu ambacho watu hawajai yote right now they can't believe but they will see sasa hizi hawezi wakaamini lakini wataona they have never seen rain they had never seen rain hawakuiona mvua but we, Hawako wameona mvua but rain came na mvua ikaja rain heavily ikajesha kwa wingi and noah is in the midst of this storm na noah ako katika nti ya mawimbi and god need god fulfilling the word that is said in the book of isaiah 59 na mungu akaanza kutimiza kila ambacho alikuwa maahidi katika isaya 59 that when the enemies come in like flood wakati adui atakuja kama mafuriko the lord will lift a standard for you Mungu basi ataidoa kiwango kwako. The flood that you are in right now you are not going to drown in it. Basi yale mafuriko ambayo unaona hautazama ndani. Amen. Amen. And little by little when the more the flood increase the more no wind high. Basi wakati mafuriko yalipokuwa yakiongezeka ndivyo Noah alikuwa akienda juu. So the more the floods so wakati mafuriko yanakuwa mengi the more the promotion comes. Basi hivyo ndivyo utakavyoinuliwa. Amen. Amen. The more the floods, basi mafuriko yakiwa mengi, the higher you go. Juu kabisa utainuliwa. Amen. Amen. The more the floods, basi mafuriko yakiwa mengi, the higher you go. Juu kabisa unaenda. And the earth kept on floating on water. Basi na dunia ikaendelea kuwa katika maji. Safina. Safina ikaendelea kuwa katika maji. So these floods are the ones that were carrying the ark. Basi ya maji ndio alikuwa anabeba safina. The flood is the, the, the flood is just going to trouble you the same thing flood that is going to carry you higher basi ama fripa ambaye anakuja kusumbua ndio tu fripa amen amen the same thing flood that will carry you higher ayo tu ndio tu mawimbi yatakweka juu you wonder who is going to take me higher unauliza nani atanipeleka juu the flood that you are going through is the same same flood that's going to carry you basi yale mafuriko ambayo unapitia ndani ndio yatakuweka juu i remember the story of, of, of nama nama na modekai nakumbuka basi ya bibi ya nama na modekai nama was a flood into the modekai basi nama alikuwa mafuriko kwa modekai so you know you are nothing nasema basi wewe si kitu the same same uh, what heaven was thinking towards modekai kila bacho nama alikuwa anamfikiria modekai Haman the king told Haman basi fadha kamwambia Haman what do you want me to do for the person i love so much unataka basi nimfanyie nini kwa mtu ambaye napenda zaidi and Haman said basi Haman akasema let this man put on your royal garments basi wacha mtu akavae mavazi yako mazuri let him ride on your own on, on your own horse basi wacha kapande punda wako and take him through the town na zungoke mji wote and say this is the man that god loves na sema basi huyo mtu mfalme anapenda this is the man that the king loves huyo mtu ambaye mfalme anapenda and, and god and the, the king said you have said very well basi mfalme akasema muongee vizuri go and call mordecai basi nenda ukamuite mordecai so this flood went and called mordecai basi hapa furika akaenda kumuita mordecai and the king uh, gave mordecai the the, the royal garments basi mfalme akapa mordecai nguo za ki Falme. Amen. Amen. And he told Haman now carry Mordecai to the back of the horse. Akamwambia Haman basi mbebe Mordecai umweke katika punda. Carry him put him there. Mbebe umweke pale. This is flood that is it was meant to destroy you. Now God is using the flood to lift you up. Basi ama friko ambaye alikuwa pale kwa ajili ya kuangamiza ndio tu atakuweka juu. He said take him throughout the city. Basi uzungushe kote mjini. Just tell everybody that this is the man that the king loves so much. Abia kila mtu basi ndio mtu mfalme anampenda zaidi. Hallelujah. Amen. The flood is there to carry you to the higher level. Basi mafuriko mafanye kwa ajili ya kuweka juu. And when they 
become even more na wakati anakuja zaidi you are going higher unaenda juu you are going higher unaenda juu haleluya god is taking you to higher a point where nobody can reach mungu anapeleka juu ambapo mtu aweza kafika haleluya amen so it, the ark was wait the ark went higher and higher and higher wakati safina ilienda juu 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 zaidi until when every wicked person had perished hadi wakati kila mtu mwovu alikuwa mangamia and there was no god on earth akuko na mtu duniani and something we find here na when god saw that now everything was dead wakati kitu cha ajabu hapa wakati mungu anaona kila kitu kimekufa and every mountain has been covered basi kila mlima umefunikwa now the flood stopped basi mafuriko yakasimama and the ark began moving over the water basi safina ikaanza kuzunguka juu ya maji something we find is that the ark did it return where it was again kitu ya ajabu basi safina ikurudi mali ilikuwa mwanzo it rested on top of a mountain ilibaki kule juu kwa mlima this no way god will bring you down again where you are hakuna basi jinsi mungu atakurudisha mahali ulikuwa haleluya amen when you go high that's how you go wakati unaenda juu hivyo ndivyo utabaki and then you will rest on top of a mountain na utabaki juu ya mlima and nobody will be allowed to come there again to see you hakuna basi mtu ataruhusiwa kufika pale kukuona and that's where the ark is hapo ndipo safina ilie up to now nobody has ever reached where the ark of that ark of the, that that's the one those ark is basi hakuna mtu aliwahi fika kwenye safina iliko haleluya amen and that's how god does hivyo ndivyo mungu anafanya the flood will take you high basi mafuriko yanakupeleka juu and then you uh, when you go to rest higher na unaenda juu then this flood will go lower 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 then it, it disappear down basi mafuriko yanakuja chini chini hadi yapotee for those who wait upon the lord wa allah mgojea wa bwana tell me do their strength basi mbovu zao zitafanya upya they will be mount up with wings like an eagle watatoa mabao atapaka matai they go very high watenda juu pray the name of the living god bwana isasifiwe i think that's what is going to carry him today basi nadhani natia moyo zaidi leo then we make me an example of of, of joseph basi tunapatiana mfano wa yusufu He was what God wanted to take him higher. Basi Mungu alitaka kumpeleka juu. Where did he begin? Alianzia wapi? Being tended by his brothers. Then he was thrown in the pit. Akatukwa katika shimo. Then he was sold to the Ishmaelites. Basi akauzwa. He went into Potiphar's house. Akaenda kwa nyumba ya Potifa. Potiphar's house. He went again into prison. Basi kwa nyumba ya Potifa akarudi jela. Those were the flat that were, ca- were playing around with the life of Joseph. Basi haya alikuwa mafrika alikuwa anacheza na maisha ya Yusufu. And finally when he came out of the prison he didn't go back to Israel you know, to, to Canaan but he made in Egypt but on a higher level. Na mwisho wakati anatoka jela hakuenda kule Misri Israel alibaki Misri na kwa so, haki wako cha juu. So that all those that persecuted him can come and bow down. Wale wote waliotesa ili waje akamwinamie. Amen. Amen. God is holding in a higher position whereby everybody would help him to come and bow down and say igwe Mungu basi alimweka kwa kiwango cha juu ili wale wote waliotesa waje akamwinamie. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here just to encourage you in our walk with Christ. I'm here to encourage you today. Nakutia moyo leo that you know any situation you're passing through. Pale yote ambayo unapitia ndani. Don't begin crying. Usianze kulia. Oh God why me why me? Oh Mungu bona mimi. When this when this when this storm will come to an end. Basi wakati mawimbi atakuja mwisho you will be in a better place utakuwa mahali pazuri than where you are right now ushinda jinsi mali ulipo sasa hallelujah amen i count it all joy nina hesabu furaha yangu i count it all joy nina hesabu furaha yangu na hesabu yote kwa furaha when i go through various trials wakati ninapitia majaribu because is through the trials kwa sababu ni kupitia kwa majaribu we are lifted higher tunainuliwa juu how many people are taking the higher level kwa sababu nataka Mungu aweke katika kiwango cha juu you know it is going to be painful but God will use the same same plans to carry you ni uchungu lakini Mungu atatumia yale tu mawili kutoka juu people that were hindered that blind man from seeing Jesus Christ 
there are certain people who went and called him that the, uh, Jesus wants to see you. Basi wale watu wale kuzuia yule mtu kipofu kumwona Yesu ni wale tu walio muita wakamwambia Mungu Yesu anataka kuona. The Jewish guy you are making a lot of noise for, for Jesus here. Wakamwambia una fanya kelele nyingi hapa. And it's like you are smelling. Like hata unanuka. But Jesus said go and bring them here. Basi Yesu akasema nenda mkamlete hapa. So they went and brought him. Na kaenda wakamleta. So the same thing we used to go opposing him. The same people that God is going to use. Yes. Wale basi wanakupinga ndio watu Mungu atatumia kukuweka kiwango kingine. Job's friends were accusing him every time. Basi marafiki wa Yobu walikuwa na tusi kila siku. Oh you sinned against God. Wewe umeitenda dhambi na Mungu. Ah you maybe have rebelled against God. Wewe umeasi Mungu. You are a pride. Wewe ni mtu tu. God has forsaken you. Mungu amekuacha. But I was said that no uh, job was placed twice. Basi Biblia inasema Yobu alibarikiwa mara mbili. Amen. Amen. Where did he get these his blessings? Basi alipata wapi baraka? This people who are accusing him. Wale watu walikuwa wanamsema. And the same people that God told them Go take your words give to you. Ndio wale tu Mungu aliwambia enda kachukua utajiri wewe mwenyewe. Amen. Amen. He uses the same people. Alitumia tu wale watu. He didn't go to get someone else but he uses the same people. Hakwenda kutafuta watu wengine lakini alitumia tu wale watu. Go sell your things and bring them so that you can be forgiven. Nenda basi mgauze vitu vyenu mkalete ili mpeze kusamehewa. And Job was blessed twice. Na Ayubu alibarikiwa mara mbili zaidi. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is so encouraging. Basi neno la Mungu linatia moyo. This is the book of um Uh, he was the devil. Wa And we have so many witnesses in the scriptures. Tuko basi na mashahidi wengi kwenye Biblia. You can read some of them at your own time. Unaweza soma kwa wakati wako mwenyewe. You can read about Daniel and his friends. Unaweza kusoma Daniel na marafiki zake. Hallelujah. Amen. But in the book of Hebrews the third verse one. Basi wa Ibrania 12:1. Now we are being encouraged here today. Basi tunatiwa moyo hapa leo. Therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Basi na sisi pia kwa kuwa tunazungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzikutayo kwa upesi na tupige mbio kwa sabuni katika yale mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu. Enduring and enduring the rest that is set before us. Basi tuweze kukimbia yale mbio ama mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu. Looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. Tukimtazamia Yesu mwenye kuanzisha na mwenye kutimiza imani yetu. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and now has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God ambaye kwa ajili ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele mbele yake alistahimili msalaba na kuidharau kuida aibu naye ameketi mkono wa kuume wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu haleluya this is jesus our perfect example basi ni yesu mfano wetu bora the flood that came this life was taken up to the cross basi mafurika aliyokuja kwa maisha yake aliyekwa kwa msalaba he was crucified because of our sins alisulubishwa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu and he died na akafa and everybody was celebrating that jesus is dead na kila mtu alikuwa anasherekea yesu amekufa they didn't know who they were playing lakini hawakujua anacheza na nani after that baada ya pale he was from the dead alifufuka Jesus rose from the dead. Alitoka kwenye kifo. Having a, a, a glorious body. Akapewa mwili wa utukufu. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was having a glorious body. Alikuwa na mwili wa utukufu. He could pass anywhere that he wants. Angepita popote. And then he is highly exalted above any other thing on earth. Na amenuliwa juu kushinda kila kitu kwa hii dunia. And right now is sitting at the right hand of God Almighty. Sasa hizi basi amekalia katika mkono wa kiume wa Mungu. If this happened to Jesus Christ. Na kama ilifanyikia Yesu. The Bible says that he became the first fruit. Biblia inasema alikuwa matunda la kwanza. Amen. He was our first fruit. 
alikuwa tunaletu la kwanza so the way he was exalted high jinsi alivyowekwa juu you and me too we we na mita be exalted higher and higher tutaelewa juu 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 we need to keep trusting in god lazi tuendelee basi kumtii mungu even when things go as to as to way hata kama mambo yanaenda kinyume bible says that god makes a way when it seems to be no way anasema mungu anafanya njia pasipo kuwa na njia even in the desert i will say rivers basi hata kwa kwa the desert jangwani jangwani litafanya njia do you know that this there's a, a way uh, is a uh, 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 a way in the god makes a way when this is no way sio mungu anafanya njia pasipo kwa na njia even in water there's a way hata kwa maji kuna njia because peter was walking on the way kwa sababu pia peter peter alikuwa pale peter got out of the boat alitoka basi kwa ashua kwa ashua and he began walking na akaanza kutembea that road is hidden na hiyo njia imefika And only Peter saw that water. He began walking on that water. Petero peke yake aliona hiyo njia na akaanza kutembelea. He was floating on water. Na alikuwa basi yako juu ya maji. And for you to survive to walk on that way. Na basi ili wewe uweze kuwa sawa katika ile njia. You have to look to Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith. Basi lazima utazamie Yesu mwanzilishi na mwisho wa imani yako. Because if you look down, kwa sababu ukiangalia chini, that the that water will disappear. Hiyo njia itapotea. And you will begin singing. Na utaanza kuzama. So it's there. That, that road is there. Yeye je iko pale. He says it makes a way when it seems to be no way. Sema nafanya njia pasipo na njia. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm very much encouraged by the word of God today. Leo tumeibizwa na neno la Mungu leo. I was to put this word on last Sunday. Nilikuwa nihubiri neno Jumapili iliyopita. But God gave me a different one. Na Mungu akanipatia nyingine tofauti. Now today. Lakini leo God has still shared this one with you. Mungu amesema basi nishiriki nani. That this storm that you are facing right now is a same storm that's going to take you to another level. Kwa yale mawimbi ambayo amekuja ndio tu yatakuweka katika kiwango kingine. Amen. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Ah. Uh, yes, for the past few months, basi miezi kadhaa iliyopita, I was so low. Nilikuwa chini. Sometimes when I'm upset my head, hata wakati mwingine nilikuwa bila fikra zangu. Because things were going astray. Kwa sababu mambo yalikuwa yanaenda kinyume. Because I thought things things will go to move things mostly but everything just went astray. Kila kitu kilikuwa kinaenda mrama. Our two cats nikapoteza ngombe wawili. They died. Wakafa mysteriously. Evil two. Our, our big machine for the photocopy machine just got struck. Basi yale mashini yetu ya photocopy yakakataa. I said I still have a small one I can use it. Nikasema bado naweza kutumia ni pumie. This is more than I can use. Nikasema kuna ile ndogo naweza tumia. We began using it it was struck again. Natumia ile ndogo na ikaribika tena. Oh my. Uende wapi sasa? Then after short time our keyboard the year the charge was also destroyed. Baada muda mfupi basi chombo chetu kipya kikaribika pia. So we left with no keyboard. Tukabaki bila basi keyboard. Last Sunday, Jumapili iliyopita. When we came to church, our microphone was also struck. Basi tulipokuja kanisani pia microphone zetu zikaharibika. And the person who brought us this keyboard, he got a puncture on his on his motor, on motorbike. Na yule basi alileta hii keyboard akapata puncture kwa pikipiki yake. And he couldn't repair it for two days. Na aikabidi atengeneze kwa siku mbili. Because nobody nobody is coming. Kwa sababu kuangalia kuna mtu anale, anakuja. You want to bring the keyboard but the, the enemy saying you are not going to bring it. Anataka kuleta lakini adui anasema aokeleke. Down there very far. Na ni afuko chini huko mbali. But he managed to make it to prepare that, that puncture on Sunday morning. Alifaulu basi kutengeneza Jumapili asubuhi. And when I brought the keyboard here. Na akaileta hapa. Then he got another puncture. Tena ikaribikia hapa pikipiki. So I told him go you remove that puncture go by the new tube. Nikamwambia basi wacha ku repair enda ukanunua ingine mpya. So, Akaenda basi akanunua ingine mpya na akaeka ndani. Na told God God why 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 all this is happening. Nikamuuliza Mungu mbona hayo yote yanatendeka. I'm always here at night pray. Nikao hapa hivi ninaomba usiku. Asking God what what I do. Nikauliza Mungu nifanye nini. Why are you allowing all these things to happen? 
Naona unaruhusu haya yote yafanyike. All these things they need, they need money to repair. Hivi vitu vyote vinahitaji pesa kutengeneza. We took our keyboard to town for to for repair the saying that this keyboard must be dated in Nairobi. Basi tukachukua kio keyboard yetu kutengeneza lazima tunaambia lazima iende Nairobi. And they say that for us to repair it uh, for those in Nairobi the money that it, it must be in the original box. Na wanasema basi ili watengeneze lazima iwe katika box iliyokuja nayo. Na where will you find the box now? Basi tutapata wapi sasa? So everything was just tight kila kitu kikawa kigumu i think i went to isbania nikaenda basi isbania i went there at night we slept and then i woke up in the morning and i felt fresh i feel refreshed nikaka kule asubuhi nikamwambia bishop frangoni na isi niko sawa so when you came back i saw one box in my house nikarudi nikaona basi box ipo nyumba yangu so yeah yeah tv za tv kazi pia but the tv na zafanya kazi box ya tv nikasema basi ya tv na zafanya kazi so we tried to inquire but they said no kasema kasema hapana we just need the, that box akasema anataka tu box iliyokuwa ndani so what on tuesday basi siku ya jumatano i would only i was pray nikawa ninaomba somebody asked me then why why cry mtu akaniuliza daudi mbona unalia let's look for new machines basi tafuta tu vyombo mpya amen amen now this photocopier i i, I paid 10000 just to buy a panel that that screen wait 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 we press the buttons basi yale mashine ya photocopy nilikuwa nimelipia 1000 kumi kwa kutengeneza pale kwa kufinya finya so you said in Nairobi they say yes we have that spare part here basi tunatoka Nairobi wanasema tuko nayo hapa when they get the money that's that part that that uh, gadget disappears basi wakati wanapata pesa wanasema basi imepotea This this no this, this, that, that, that that panel is not there again. Basi ile panel haiko pale. So they begin looking at it and they're getting it. Wakaanza kutafuta waoni. Another said I have it. Yeye anasema niko nayo niko nayo. We gave them the money. Tukampatia pesa. Hey, where, where is it now again? Tena akauliza yeye naiko wapi tena? Then they said that now we are going to send the money to the bank. Wakaambia sasa tunaenda kwa bank tena. But now we will say that now we are going to buy new ones now. Tukasema tunaenda kununua mpya sasa. No, but that panel was found. Basi hiyo panel ikapatikana. Now, and now that seven to take our keyboard to Nairobi. Basi tunaambia tuchukue keyboard yetu ile Nairobi. Now, now they accepted. Na wakakubali. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nikata kufikiri kwa hiyo. And God has begun to answer us. Basi Mungu amefanya ametengeneza vitu vingine. Ile ile office. Kuna mambo ambayo Mungu anafanya ina shida akili zetu. Amen. Amen. I remember when we began this year my water pump was, was stolen. Basi tulipoanza mwaka huu basi pambo yangu ya maji ilibwa. The ask God now my pump was gone. Nikaambia Mungu basi pambo yangu imeenda. But the boys told me don't worry. Kaambia basi usijali. We will get you a better one. Tutakuletea mzuri kushinda hiyo. And the same same day we had a board now. And is a big a big pump. Siku tukaenda tukanunua kubwa kushinda hiyo. Amen. Amen. So when the enemy is the small one God he places it with a bigger one. Basi adui ya karibu ndogo Mungu analeta kubwa. Amen. Amen. So we are given a bigger pump. Basi tukapewa pump kubwa for the water. Ya maji. The enemy came and struck my television in the house. Basi adui alikuja akaribu TV yangu kwa nyumba 24 inch. Basi TV inji 24. So I, I want to read that it's now working fine. Niko na ingine nafanya vizuri. I got another one that's a bit bigger than that one but it also it, 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 it was causing problems. Nikapata ingine kwa hiyo kubwa kwa hiyo kidogo na tena ikakuwa na shida. I told God God I get here here and sumbua. Nikamwambia Mungu pia inasumbua. And also the voice came to me now why 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 is God here? Basi nikamwambia mbona unasumbukana hapa? Hallelujah. Amen. So I was given a bigger TV. Nikapewa TV kubwa. This is this called upgrade. Basi na kupandishwa kiao. Amen. Amen. So this what God God has, has done for us. Basi hivi ama hiki ndiko Mungu ametufanyia sisi. Amen. Amen. When the enemy comes in like a flood God will never stand for us. Basi adui akija kama mafuriko Mungu anapandisha viwango. This is a microphone basi hivi nilipasa sauti this 
is what the, the enemy destroyed. Basi hii ndio adui aliharibu. And uh, by the way, we also have a, a big new photocopy machine on the way coming. Tuko basi na mashine kubwa ya photocopy ikojiana na kuja. And another bigger printer coming. A printer kubwa pia inakuja. We can now print our certificates here, passport photos, don't need it here. Tuneza basi tengeneza passport zetu hapa na kuprint hizi vitu zote hapa. Our God is amazing. Basi mungu wetu ni wajabu. Let me know. Now, this is what is destroyed. Basi hii diyo aduya ni amigu na tunapatai. This is two channels, this is four channels. Hii basi ni channel mbili, basi ni channel mbili. We are now having Right now, people are sitting in the tent outside there, but in a few months, they will all be inside. Amen? Amen. Because now we have decided that we are moving forward.
Anto wapi kaniweka wapi
command comes in like this way that hawezi kuja tu hivyo watakuja na kuinama and you, the word you do you, you, you speak in the life that's, that's how it's going to be na kila ambacho utanena hivyo ndivyo itakuwa hallelujah amen wengine wanaangalia pale shangana na sasa watu gani that's how it is hivyo ndivyo ilivyo so when you see most of the time i'm in i'm out when i come back I'm out ngia kidogo na kimbia the things that we are now rushing kuna mambo tunakimbiza wakati unaona nikiwa ndani nikiwa nje things we are rushing to fix there kuna mambo tunakimbia kwa kisha yako mpangoni i'm telling you na ninakwambia you going to see good things that god will do in this place unaenda kuona mambo makubwa mungu atafanya nitaona na macho mta mnaamini moyoni alafu mnaona na macho kuamini moyoni na kuona kwa macho yes sio hizo hizi ni macho amen amen hivyo ni kwa na kama unataka kuona mengi zaidi be where you are ukitaka kuona mengi kwa tu mahali ulipo sitangataka nione huko bla bla just sit there and you decide that things that you have never seen since you were born eti tu pale utaona mambo yale ambayo hujaiona tangia uzaliwa he says has good plans for you anasema kuna mipango mizuri kwa whether the storms comes in your life wakati mawimbi yanakuja kwa maisha yako he has a good plan for you yuko na mipango mizuri kwa that's the matter you get that it is if it is sickness or what that uh, what's happening in your life hata kama ni magonjwa ama chochote ambacho kinafika kwa maisha yako the word of god is unchangeable basi neno la Mungu halibadiliki. He says he has good plans for you. Anasema ako na mipango mizuri kwako. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Yeah. Mipango ya kukupa tumaini na maisha. Plans not to harm you. Mipango si ya kukudumu, but to take you ila ya kukuweka juu. And all the nations na mataifa yote they will look at you. Watakuangalia. Say behold this one as was was a servant of God. Anasema hakika huu ni mwana wa Mungu. Jesus was crucified on the cross. Yes, I yes, will be shown sana by somebody stood there and said surely this is the son of God. Watu wakasema wakasema hakika huu ni mwana wa Mungu. This is the son of God. Huyu ni mwana wa Mungu. Let me say that even even those who pass will see when you are coming back with greater force basi wale bibili nasema hata wale walio kutesa watakuona ukija kwa nguvu zaidi when you come with greater authority they will see you coming utakuja na mamlaka na watakuona ukija haleluya amen but they they will see him coming down the same thing they see Jesus coming the same same way they will see you coming bibili nasema jinsi walivyoona Yesu akija ndivyo watakuona ukija haleluya amen Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I hope somebody has been encouraged today. Kidani mtu ametiwa mwao leo. Sasa mnajua kwamba our prayer is always not in vain. Basi hapo unje maombi yetu haidi tu bure. We speak to a God who hears prayers. Tunamwongelea ama tunamwongelea Mungu ambaye anasikia maombi. Hallelujah. Amen. And he who is with God in secret, he will reward you openly. Yule atafutaye Mungu kwa siri basi atajibiwa kwa wazi. Hii ndio wazi. Amen. Amen. Hii ndio wazi. Tuta hizi photocopies na kuja uzuri mshi. Hazina kelele nyingi na hii imejimekuwa kubali wanakuja tena ku service. Haijaripika sasa hii nafanya ndio copies. Hii inakuja kusafishwa, tena ndio kapsi mzima, tena ile nyingine inagudi, tena iko sawa na nyingine mpya inakuja. So tutakuwa na hii quarter ndio ndio machine sia. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na hakifanya mchezo tena hazikuze. Tena kuchukua ile mashine ile sasa ile 200. Amen. Sasa kama kama angejua angejua shambulia si ndio? Yes. Once it was it what na cheka. Yeye ndio mnatipi kidogo na hapa. Ah, tumeenda juu. Sasa kudhani ni awachana na sisi. Kwa maana pole because the more na piga the more tunaona, si ndio? The more tunaenuka. Yuko ni kwa sababu ndio anaweza kwa kwa huko na kitabu. Sasa nitabeni kwa hapa. Na mimi nakunywa ni chai ya sukui na juice kulangi, si ndio? Mimi na kisikio langu kushira hapa. Mimi wanataka kwa ofisi imenyamaza kimya. Nasema ndio kuna kula kuna naona na magari. Mimi na kula strong tea na chai ya kasbi kombe moja. Iko nani anatokea wapi? Ni Mungu mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Na I go to will make your face to shine. Na basi Mungu anafanya juice zenu kwa ngazi. Ndio kama we pass. 
people will see you. Hata ukipita popote mtu atakuwa and they will call you blessed. Atakuita barikiwa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord with God. Father, we thank you Jesus. We bless your holy name, God. Bless you, Father. You are a faithful Father. Oh, God, we thank you, Father. The ways, Lord, are unsearchable, God. It's very hard to understand some things, Lord, but one thing we know that, Father, you have said in your word that you will be with us up to the end of the age. You are always with us and that you have good plans for us, plans to give us a hope and a future, plans not to harm us, Lord. That's what you think to us always, my Father. And that's why, Lord, we worship you and glorify your name. Lord, there's somebody here today was most discouraged. There's somebody who was going through this moment of life. He was feeling like giving up. But God, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the blessings that you have brought here, God. I thank you for this young man, this mama, this lady, this God. She's been encouraged today to keep moving forward. Father, don't allow them to be distorted again, Father. Keep them under your wings, Lord. Protect them, Father. Increase their faith, Lord. Lord, they need more of you in their lives, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Your faith for God. Faithful, you are faithful, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are faithful, faithful, you are faithful, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. I worship you, faithful Lord, faithful, you are faithful. Listen before the Lord. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are faithful, faithful, you are faithful, King of kings. Lord of Lord, I worship you. Faithful, faithful, you are faithful. King of kings, Lord of Lord, you are faithful, faithful, you are faithful.